and spicy Korean flavoured glaze and wings so crunchy. I mean, just listen to this. Listen to that crunch. Ah. And the flavour. Mm. These are my Korean fried chicken wings. Okay guys, I cannot even with these wings. They are so freaking good. Like they get so crispy, like glass shatteringly crispy. And then you put the glaze on, but they still stay really crispy. I mean, they're just, they're so good. And <laughs> they're actually really easy to make. Couple of little techniques though we gotta get right just to get that earth shattering crispiness. So let's get going on the wings first of all. Ah, oh, this one is so exciting. Ah, oh, can't wait. Um, all right, salt. We want to salt our wings and you want like a generous amount of salt here. A lot of the salt kind of falls off. So I want like a really well seasoned wing here. And just a little bit of pepper. And then just give these a mix. Really get in there with your hands. Make sure that salt is giving some love to each little wing in there. All right, just let that seasoning work its magic just while we get everything else ready. And now for the glaze. So this is a soy-based glaze, so I want some soy sauce. And some sugar. Some apple cider vinegar. I kind of like the apple cider vinegar because it adds a little bit of fruitiness, a little bit more interest to the sauce, but just regular white vinegar would be fine as well. And now here comes the spicy. So I'm using some Korean gochujang chili paste. Looks like this guy in the red tub. I go through so much of this stuff. It has like a, well, it's a fermented chili paste. So you get the spicy, but then you get an, an additional like salty savouriness that really kind of boosts the flavour of anything you're adding it to. And now some hot mustard as well. And we're going to add a really intense garlic kind of hit to this one as well. So I want to grate in three cloves. And for those of you who know me well enough by now on my channel, there's always more spice you can add. So I'm going to add a little bit more dried red chilli. This one is like an optional, but it kind of infuses that sauce with a little bit more kick. Now you just need to cook this for a couple of minutes just until everything's dissolved. And that's it, we can leave that alone until we're ready to glaze our wings. All right, so let's get back to the crispy wing part. And what I wanna do here is get my wings into some corn flour. Now, corn flour is what we call corn starch outside of the US, so just to uh, clear up any confusion there. You could also use potato starch as well. The corn flour or potato starch gives a really light coating uh, and makes everything really crispy. Much lighter than all-purpose flour here, so definitely go with either of those options. And make sure you're tapping off the excess. I don't want these wings to be super floury or to have too much of a coating on the outside. I just want a really thin, very crispy layer on the outside. All right, so let's work some magic here now. I'm just gonna test my oil, and what I want is some nice little active bubbles around that chopstick. Now, chicken pieces go in. So we're gonna fry this chicken twice, and the double fry is going to give us that extra, extra crispiness that we're after. And there's a couple little things here. So one, I'm gonna do something that I'm constantly telling you guys not to do, and that is I'm just gonna overcrowd my pan here because uh, this chicken is gonna cook for this first fry for 20 minutes, and I actually don't want the oil that hot. So putting all the chicken in at once and letting it go kind of keeps the temperature not too hot. So there is method to the madness, everyone. Now I just like to keep the chicken moving every so often, and yeah, 20 minutes. Make yourself a cup of tea. Check your Instagram. Probably not enough time to watch something on Netflix, but you know, I'm sure you can find something to do. All right, these guys are looking good. They're a kind of like pale golden color. 
but the real thing that we've done here is kind of expelled all of that moisture that's in the chicken and prepping them for the, like the extra crispy second fry. So anyway, get these draining on a paper towel. And again, what I'm trying to do is remove as much moisture as possible, hence the paper towel. And while I'm waiting for that chicken to kind of drain and dry out a little, I'm gonna just clean up my oil here, scoop out any little bits and pieces. All right, now just wait for that oil to heat up again ever so slightly. And now chicken back into the oil for their extra crispy bath this time. This is where we're going for color as well. And now we need to exercise a little more patience. We're nearly there guys, 10 minutes until these guys are like so super deluxe crispy. All right, so this chicken is looking pretty delightful right now. Uh, let's get it out. And this time I'm gonna get them out onto a baking rack that's gonna make it easier for me to glaze these babies. Look at that golden color and then listen to this sound. That's just like the most incredible kind of music you could ever hear. Crispy wing music, my favorite. All right, let's do some glazing here, guys. Now this glaze is super intense, so I just need a nice light little layer of that sweet and spicy goodness. Now turn them over and get both sides. Jeez, these wings have gotten some love today, haven't they? All right, the most loved wings in the world. And now a little smattering of sesame seeds. out onto a serving plate. And there you go guys, like the crispiest wings you've ever tried, honestly. And they'll sit around and maintain their crispiness. Like, it's just like a magical wing. It's a magic wing. Let me, let me see. I'll test it out and let you know. Mm. Listen to that crunch. Ah. And the flavor. Mm. Like just a hint of that beautiful spiciness, but then like sweet and tangy as well. Ah. Mm. I mean, I can't even deal with these. They are just so good. Amazing. <laughs> Crispy wings tossed in the most epic honey, lemony sauce. Ah, this is like the most ultimate honey lemon chicken wings. That's the sound of some good chicken right there. All right, so when I was testing the recipe for these wings, not even I was expecting how amazing they would turn out. Oh, these are literally like one of the best wings I think I've ever made, which means I'm super excited about sharing it with you guys. Now there's a couple of things here I wanted to get right. One is I wanted to get those wings really crispy. And two, I wanted a sauce that would cling and get sticky, but not make the wings soggy. So quite the puzzle, but I figured it out. I'm gonna show you guys right now how to do it. All right, let's go for the marinade on the chicken wings first of all. I'm gonna start off with some soy sauce. 
And then there's a couple of little kind of secrety ingredients and techniques for this one. And one of them is some chicken stock cube. That's right, I'm just gonna crumble that straight in here. And this is gonna give us an extra boost of chickeniness and savoriness and umaminess. Lots of messes there, but anyway, it makes things good. It makes it good. And a little dash of sugar. So the sugar is actually gonna help us develop a really beautiful color and crustiness on our chicken. Now, give that a mix. Best to get in here with your hands, I think. You really wanna kind of massage those ingredients in there and kind of break up that stock cube get it making friends with the soy sauce and the chicken skin. Now, if you're really organized, leaving these overnight in the fridge would make your wings even more epic. I often am not that organized, so I'm just gonna leave these aside for about 10 minutes while I make my sauce. Now for the honey lemon sauce itself. Obviously, we need some honey. And then with the lemon, I wanna use both the zest and the juice because that's gonna give us the best brightest sunshine kind of lemon flavor. So I'll just take that zest off first. Pop that zest in with the honey and now the juice. So try not to get the seeds in there, which I am usually half successful at. Now heat that up until it just starts bubbling. And what we've done here is we've taken care of the flavor now I want to take care of the texture and the texture here is really important to get the right juxtaposition of the crispy and the sticky and the, the amazing end result. So what we need is a little bit of corn flour here just mixed with some water and now just pour that in and just give that a stir and very quickly it will magically turn into a very thick sauce, much thicker than you would think you want. Okay, so if you have a look, this is the kind of situation we're going for here, almost like a jelly. Okay, so just set that aside. Keep it kind of warm, so keep it in that warm pot until you're ready to mix up your wings. All right, so you want some hot oil. You can check if it's hot enough by popping in a wooden chopstick or a wooden spoon and some nice little angry bubbles there, so I know we're good to go. Now I want to do this in batches because I want to make sure that each wing has a chance to get nice and crispy in that oil. So I'll just put half of my wings into my corn flour. And then just shake off as much of that flour as you can and get those wings into that oil. Now you want to give these as much time as they need to get really deeply golden, deeply crispy. About eight to 10 minutes actually. All right, so these are looking great. Just check that out for some golden, crispy deliciousness. Ugh, I love frying cooking. Now, while those wings are still nice and warm, that's when you wanna be mixing them with our lemon honey sauce. So pop these into a bowl. That's the sound of some good chicken right there. Now add in the sauce and you'll think that you don't have enough. And if that's the case, then you've got just the right amount because what we don't want is too much sauce making everything soggy. We really want that great balance of the crunchy and the sticky as I keep going on about. All right, let's give that a mix. Now, a few sesame seeds here. There's a toss. And now pop those out onto a plate. Let's just see how we've gone here. So excited about this. Mm. I mean, for me, it's that ultimate mix of, you know, that beautiful, crispy, 
lemon chicken you used to eat in Chinese restaurants, what I did anyway as a child, and the honey chicken as well. It's like the best combination of both those things in a wing. Mm. And you've still got that crunchy, crispy exterior, and then that sticky sauce. It's like magic. It's actually like pure magic. Mm. Simple ingredients here guys, but the flavor combination is going to be insane, yay! And we're gonna do it in the slow cooker, so even easier. Um, let's start off first with the sweet chili sauce. Everything just goes straight into the slow cooker bowl. And some ketchup. Now ketchup isn't obviously an Asian ingredient, but my mom actually uses it for a lot of different Asian dishes like her uh, sweet and sour pork and also her kayatsai recipe which is a Thai stuffed omelette. Oh, if you haven't checked that one out, you should check it out on my YouTube channel. So good. Alright, now we also want some honey and some brown sugar. And then to give us some nice deep dark colour, I'm going to add some dark soy sauce. And then for the barbecue flavour, I want a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And to really boost up the flavor, I'm gonna add some garlic as well. You could also use ginger here as well instead of the garlic. That's a really nice version of this. Now, just mix this up. And now the chicken wings. I'm using little drumettes. So that's the little, this little mini drumstick part of the wing. Any type or form of wing is totally fine. Oh, you could do drumsticks as well, full-size ones. And they just go in. Give those a mix. Now, lid on. Now you've got a few options here. So if you're doing this in the morning to cook at night time when you get home from work, you can do the six to eight hour setting. I'm just gonna do three hours on high because I'm a little impatient with these wings. Now don't go away because we've still got a couple of things we wanna to do to make these wings extra special when they come out of the slow cooker. Okay, so these guys have had their time. Let's have a look. Mm, they smell amazing. Now, just one more treatment here to make these wings super special. I'm going to get them out onto a tray lined with foil because no one likes to do washing up, including me. Now, this braising liquid, we need to turn that into an epic basting sauce. So, Pour it out into a saucepan. Now you want to let this bubble away for at least 10, 15 minutes until it's really super thick and concentrated. So in the meantime, let's make some sprinkles. Now I love, you know, it's always the detail that makes things extra special and I just love these. You can use this sprinkle for lots of different things, grilled chicken, uh, ooh, grilled prawns as well, really good. Start off with some lime, just want the zest here. and some black sesame seeds, some white sesame seeds, and a healthy dose of chili powder. You can leave this out if you like. And a good spoonful of salt. I'll just give that a mix. And that will be a little flavor booster that we'll add at the end. Now, the sauce is certainly smelling amazing. Let's have a look. And you can see just how thick and luscious that is. Pour that out. And now give each of these wings some love with that beautiful basting sauce.
Now get these into the oven under a really hot grill, wait for them to kind of just slightly char on this first side, turn them over, give them a little bit more love on the other side, back under the grill, and then we'll see what we've got. Wow, the color on these, the smell, I cannot wait to dig in. And then while they're warm, give them a little dusting with that beautiful little sprinkle. Let's get these out on a plate. There you go guys, slow cooker wings that you will be making time and again. I know that because I make them time and again. <laughs> oh, that is just, I mean, that beautiful lime salty sprinkle at the end with that bit of that kick of spice, so good. And the chicken, because we've done it in the slow cooker, it is super soft inside. And then that sticky, sort of Asian barbecue flavor on the outside. Mm, I'm not sharing these. <laughs> oh, these are so good. Listen to that sound. Ah, oh, so good. And I'm gonna show you the secret to getting that super crispy crunch. So first up, we're gonna do the pepper part and I'm gonna go all out and use three peppercorns, but you could totally just choose one, like just a normal black pepper would be fine, but I'm gonna go with some black pepper, some white pepper, and then for some really cool, like tangy spiciness, I'm gonna go with some Sichuan peppercorns too. I just wanna grind those up. Now, because the pepper is such an integral part of the flavor for this dish, grinding the peppercorns fresh makes a huge difference. You get a really beautiful, fresh flavor. Smell already, it's so beautiful. Now I want half of that pepper mixture into my chicken wings. And then what we're gonna do now is cure the chicken wings. So instead of brining them in liquid, we're going to just add salt and a little bit of garlic powder. So by using this sort of salt cure, rather than doing like a liquid brine, it means that we're keeping the chicken pieces really nice and dry. And that's really important for when we come to the crispy frying part later. Okay, now I'm gonna get these out onto a tray. I've just got a baking rack sitting here. And what that does is it allows all these guys some time in the air to dry out a little bit while that salt is working its magic. Okay, now these guys need to go into the fridge about four hours or even overnight is really good. Okay, so now that these guys have had time with all that salt and all that flavor, they're ready for the deep frying part. Now, there's a couple of things here that we're gonna do that are going to get that extra special crispiness. First up is we wanna make a batter. Now we're gonna start with some corn flour and some plain flour. And now, tip number one, use really cold water. So the cold water makes the batter cold, obviously. And when that cold batter hits the hot oil, that's when you get the magic crispiness. I'm gonna whisk this through till we have a smooth batter with no lumps. And you'll be surprised at how light this batter is. It should be about the consistency of like coconut milk. So not very thick at all. Now let's talk about the deep frying part. So we are gonna do a twice fry. First time round, we're gonna keep the oil a little bit lower. And by lower, I mean when you get a wooden spoon and you stick that into the oil, we should get a nice little sort of gentle bubbling. Now, if you wanna get technical about it, that should be around about like 150 degrees Celsius. And I wanna dip my chicken pieces in here, drip off some of that batter and get that straight into the oil. Now I like to do this two handed. So as the chicken goes in, I sort of just use a chopstick or some tongs to sort of keep it moving so it doesn't stick too much to the bottom of the pan. And the other trick here is that you really wanna keep your oil clean. So if you've got one of these little spider situations, you can just remove some of the excess batter that has fallen off or fallen away. That means we won't get any dark burnt bits on our chicken. 
Now the reason this double fry works so well is that this first frying part has released a lot of the moisture that's inside that chicken and of course moisture is the enemy of getting anything crisp. So at this stage, you can leave these guys hanging around for a little bit. They can even go in the fridge. It's great if you're doing a party because you can make these in advance because it's the next frying part that's the really important part. Now for this one, when I put my wooden spoon in, I should get a really furious bubble. So, you know, at least 175, 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, now chicken wings back into the oil. Now hear that furious bubble? That's what you want. That's the sound of our chicken wings getting super crispy. Now I want to give these guys another three to four minutes or until they're super golden and super crunchy. Again, move them around. It's all these little details that really make the difference. As if these guys aren't totally extra enough, we're gonna go one step further. And just the other half of that pepper that we had made before, I'm gonna add some chili flakes. And now we have this super fragrant salt and pepper mix. And I wanna sprinkle that all over these wings. Oh, listen to that sound. Now get these out onto a plate. Now you could serve these guys on their own, they're that good, but I like to add a little bit of chili sauce on the side and I have an amazing Marion's Kitchen coconut sriracha, which is out of this world epic. And that, my friends, is the perfect accompaniment for these crispy, crispy wings. You are gonna have some very happy customers. One word here and that is epic. Or maybe a few more words, sticky, glossy, covered in crunchy peanuts, and oh, these wings are all the things. These are my Kung Pao chicken wings. All right, so we do a lot of wings on this channel, but these sticky Kung Pao wings, oh, they're so good. And we're gonna bake the wings so we don't have to do any deep frying. It's, you know, it's just all good. Uh, let's start off with the marinade first, really simple. Just need some soy sauce, some honey. The honey's not a traditional ingredient, obviously, in Kung Pao, but what it's gonna do is when the wings are baking in the oven, the honey's gonna help with the browning and adding a bit of sweetness. And then a good dash here of Chinese Shaoxing wine. Shaoxing wine really, to me, is one of the essential flavors of a Kung Pao, so it's great if you can get a hold of it. If you can't and you'd want to leave your cooking alcohol free, try using a little bit of pineapple juice or apple juice. Kind of works well to add a bit more fragrance. Now just give those a good mix. And you can see I'm using drumettes today, but you know, regular wings, uh, wing tips, anything you like is good here. Now I like to leave these for at least 10 minutes. Look, if you've got overnight, like you're really organized, that would be even better, but 10 minutes at least. So in the meantime, let's make our sauce. And I just need some soy sauce and some dark soy sauce for some color. Some vinegar, look, some Chinese black vinegar would be ideal here, but I've only got white, so I'm just gonna use white vinegar, some sugar, and some corn flour. And then let's get some Sichuan peppercorns all crushed up and ready to go for later. Now, Sichuan peppercorns are pretty much magic in my opinion. I love them. They have obviously a peppercorn flavor, but they also have a very nice kind of citrusy high note flavor to them. And they add not just a spicy flavor, but a numbing sort of tingling sensation happens in your mouth when you're eating something with Sichuan peppercorns. Pretty cool. Um, now, just pop those into my mortar. And I just want to lightly crush these. Now, coming back to our wings, I'm going to get all of the wings out and all that liquid in there as well. I want to get all of that out onto my tray that I've just lined with some baking paper. Now, you really want a tray here that's large enough so that each of your wings has a little bit of space in the one layer. So I want a really nice caramelization on the top of each of those wings. Now, into a hot oven for 30 minutes or until you've got a beautiful color on top. So while the wings are in the oven, let's prepare a few other little bits and pieces. 
I want to slice some spring onion. Now what you want to do here is keep the pale part and the green part separately because we're going to cook them separately. So pale part first. And then the green. Now I also want some dried red chilli. For me, another essential for a Kung Pao style of dish. These aren't too spicy, they add more of a kind of like a little bit of heat but like a slightly bitter sort of dried chilli flavour. Now I just like to use scissors and chop them up. They're going to go in with my spring onions so I'm going to put them on top of those. And now let's make our sauce. Some, a little bit of oil, some garlic, some ginger, a spring onion and a chilli, pale part of the spring onion that is. And now I want to add in those crushed Szechuan peppercorns as well. I want to pour in my sauce. And as soon as that sauce hits the pan, it should pretty much thicken up straight away because of that corn flour. And we're going to have some extra cooking juices from the chicken as well. So I do want it slightly thicker than you would think. Mm, that's looking good, so I'm going to turn the heat off and grab my chicken. Right, so look at the beautiful colour we've got on that chicken of those beautiful fragrant juices as well. All right, I'm gonna get that straight into my wok. I turn that heat back on and you wanna toss everything until it's really nice and thick and glossy. Now, would you look at that? Ah, is there anything better than like a sticky, glossy chicken wing? Okay, now a few little bits and pieces at the end here. I'm going to drizzle over some sesame oil. I like to do this at the end because the sesame oil really keeps its beautiful fragrance then. If you heat it up too much, you can lose some of that. Now a good sprinkling of the green part of the spring onion. Oh, wow, that is smelling amazing. All right, let's get these guys out onto a plate. And then just finally, because of course Kung Pao Chicken always has peanuts, I'm going to crush some roasted peanuts up. Sprinkle those generously and with abandon all over the top of those wings. A little final sprinkling of greenery. And there you go. Sticky, peanutty, a little sweet, a little tangy. Oh, these look amazing. I better try one just to make sure. Wow, just check that out. Mm. That is such an amazing combination of flavors. Mm. The peanuts and the just a little bit of heat from the chili oh, and the sauce, just the perfect amount of sweet and salty. Mm. Wow, yeah, I can vouch for these for sure. Yum.